Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video, we are going to study about algorithm and a flowchart. Let's start with algorithm. An algorithm is a problem solving technique. It can be used as a step by step procedure to solve a particular problem. It consists of English statements. Each statement must be precise and well defined to perform a specific task. Characteristics of a good algorithm. Algorithm must contain the following characteristics. They are input, output, definiteness, finiteness and effectiveness. What is input? It may take zero or more inputs. Output. At least one result as output we can obtain. Definiteness. Each instruction must be clear and well defined and precise. They should not be ambiguity finiteness it should be a sequence of finite instructions that is it should end after a fixed amount of time it should not enter into infinite loop effectiveness the operation must be simple and complete in a finite time now let's study about a flow chart the pictorial representation of the algorithm is known as a flow chart there are several symbols or pictorial representations used to draw a flow chart they are um, like oval parallelogram rectangle diamond and circle and arrows oval is also known as terminal which is used to start and stop the program uh, where parallelogram a symbol is used to take input and output and give the output uh, where rectangle is used to show the processing of the data and uh, rhombus or diamond is used to make decision makings and circles are used to connect uh, different symbols and arrows show the flow of flow chart now let's consider an example of addition of two numbers uh, with and uh, sketch of algorithm and a flow chart to them algorithm to addition of two numbers step 1 read the values of a comma b comma c step 2 c is equal to a plus b is the operation we need to perform step 3 after the operation is performed we need to print the value of c that is a plus b step 4 we need to stop the program now let's sketch a flow chart for the same problem it will be as start starting the program reading the values of a and b processing or computing the values of a plus b and assigning them to c then printing the value of c which is a plus b and stopping the program that's it for this tutorial in the next video we will be learning about software development life cycle for all my videos please visit my youtube channel that is www.youtube.com/vibhavroys if you have any queries comments or suggestions please email me to vibhavroy@engineer.com thank you for watching